what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music thank you so much for supporting me right here uh gonna break down four concepts that you should always fall back on to improve your soloing sometimes you get overwhelmed with like a bunch of scales and concepts and just so much stuff sometimes you just got to bring it back a little bit and i'll show you the four most important things to keep improving uh with your soloing so let's get to it all right so sometimes you get bogged down with multiple scales that you're working on, licks, uh, major, minor, plane over changes, you know, all these different kinds of things. And sometimes you kind of get lost on where to go or how to get better because you have information overload. So it's okay to explore all these different ways to get better, but here's a great way or a great thing to fall back on if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed. Keep practicing these four things and it will, it'll always feed into everything you're working on on your lead guitar playing. We're talking about, you know, rock and blues kind of stuff, right? So we're gonna pick the key of C, and this is just gonna all be the minor pentatonic right now. So there's four things. Number one, the pentatonic with the root on the E string, up and down with alternate picking. It's a great thing to do when you're watching TV or the internet or doing something, waiting for your Pop-Tart was my old thing I used to say. But it's just a great, I mean, everything about it, uh, technically and also musically, you know, programming mm -hmm. that for when you do want to be able to express yourself, that's one of the greatest things you can do. Uh, a couple little bonus tips on that is you can add the blues note. <laughs> And you can also play it in triple a triple a triple a triple a. But that's under the same category. Number one, minor pentatonic, back and forth, alternate picking, the root on the E string. We're in the key of C right now. So that's number one. Number two is the extension or the extended pentatonic based off of that E root. So for the extended, and this could be the number one thing to practice, is this extended scale. And what we want to do, these are just my opinions, but you can use your, uh, I would recommend just focusing on your index finger and your ring finger. So ring finger's on the root now, that's C. Index and ring finger, and just back and forth. And you slide or pivot positions with the ring finger. So some bonus tips off of that, besides just running that, especially when you're not even focused on guitar, you're sitting there reading emails, you're waiting for your coffee to cool down, you just run that thing for five minutes. It will really, really help. Uh, so some bonus tips are uh, repeating parts of it up and down. So if I went, I could just take little pieces. So that was number two. So number one is the pentatonic with the root on the E string, up and down, alternate picking. Number two is the extension for that. All with the index and ring finger. So that would be six, eight, six, eight, to slide to 10. Eight, 10, eight, 10, 10, 12. Here's the little weird spot where it, it's a half step off and it would be 11, 13. 11, 13, and then slide that up to 15, and then back. All right, number three and number four 
is the exact same thing, but instead of based off the E root, it's going to be based off the A root. And when you do this, and in the key of C, you'll even see you're covering even with four concepts, and really it's like two concepts with extensions, you actually end up playing almost up and down the whole neck. There's little gaps missing, but you can actually cover pretty much the entire neck with the four concepts. So with the E root, and we're in the key of C. Now I said the next two things are the exact same concept with the root on the A string though. So let's go all the way up here. We've got C right here. And then we also, so that's the 15th fret. And then we also have C right here on the third fret. Those are the same note. So those are octaves. All right, so that A rooted C minor pentatonic, which is all the same notes as everything we've done so far, looks like this. You also have the low E string, but the root is the third fret of the A string. last piece of it slides up into the other thing I that we already did. All right, so let's go back here. There's one good spot to add the blues note to that, and that's the fourth fret of the D string. thing, just alternate picking through that up and down. And then the fourth thing is the extension for that. And so if you have the root here, and I'm not breaking down the scales as much as I would in a lesson because I have videos already covering all these things. This is more of a review if you're feeling overwhelmed. So that's why I'm not going into detail over every single scale. But so uh, we're in the A rooted C minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> And to play the extension, you look at that root, it's on the A string, and now we're going to play with our ring finger there, and we have this great little box, which would be one, three, one, three, and that's the root, and then one, three on the D string. And the blues note would be on the second fret if you want to add it. Slide that up. Now you're in the position. And if we know we're going to extend it, then we use index finger on the fourth. Four, six, slide. And then six, eight on the high E. My ring finger now ends on that E root. So if I put my index finger there, now I'm in the first two concepts we worked on. Look, if I do that octave, everything I just did here, exact same fingering, everything. Roots right there, 15A. And those extensions. Just how you did this. Same exact thing. So 
So look at where I ended up. Four concepts. We've got so the E rooted minor pentatonic. We're in the key of C. The A root minor pentatonic, key of C. Exact same fingering right here, an octave up. And then the extensions for both of those. So the E rooted extension. of that A root. Thanks again, you guys, for supporting Marty Music. I really, really appreciate it. Um, feel free to leave your requests in the comments below, and I appreciate you signing my newsletter at martymusic.com. Uh, also, obviously, I really appreciate you subscribing right here, always making new videos. And uh, thanks again. Well, we'll see you later, hopefully. <laughs>